I've been coming to the club since uh, 1958, which was the first game, and really been volunteering since um, probably 1999, 2000, when we come up here and do our jobs and with regard to clearing the pitch and painting during close season, all those sort of things. Then around uh, when the trust took over, obviously it was all hands to the pumps and uh, really it was around that time that uh, we formed the exec club, which was the first volunteering role, having sort of spent a lot of time um, working upstairs in boardrooms, etc. I just wanted to work behind the scenes, um, helping as I do still with cards, membership, secretary, um, uh, administration, and really anything else that needs to be done. I've always loved the club <clears throat> since I was eight, nine years old. Um, I remember the first batch vividly when we sat over there, um, when we played Brentford, got hammered, and I felt an affinity with the club ever since those days. I go back, remember games against Luton Town in the FA Cup when we lost 2-1 uh, um, and they went on to Wembley that year. That was in 59, I think it was. So there's lots of memories um, and it's memories that um, are the, the, the crux of anybody um, dealing with the club. If you've got a bit of Exeter City in your heart, then Obviously, the club is run on uh, on the supporters volunteering. Um, there isn't loads of money that uh, is is flowing into the club. The trust is is uh, the, the, the well the the payroll, if you like, um, in terms of um, providing the money to support the club. So anybody that um, can offer services uh, in any way, shape, or form, whether it's in the office, whether it's sweeping the terraces, whether it's painting in close season just coming into the club and being part of it. You get so much satisfaction out of it. You belong to the club.